What's up legends? Time to go Pokemon card hunting. But first, I do need to wake up a little bit, so let's go get some coffee. All right, let's go. Now, are you guys more of an iced coffee or a hot coffee type of person? Let me know in the comments below. Me personally, I love hot coffee all year round, even in the middle of summer, like it is right now. It's like practically 100 degrees outside, not quite, almost 90 degrees. Uh, but yeah, guys, still gotta have the hot coffee. It's very relaxing, very enjoyable. But anyway, guys, let's see what we can find at Walmart. All right, let's see if we hit the restock this week. We do have a lot of stuff here, but I don't know, none of this really looks new. And I'm not seeing anything in the toy section. Well, very surprising. Um, obviously they did have stock, which is you know cool in the sense that now we're in a better place with Pokemon that we can actually find product. But from what I could tell, most of that was just the leftovers. I don't see any brand new stock, not even any Astral Radiance. So anyway, let's move on to the next store. All right, next stop, Barnes & Noble. Okay. All right, at Barnes & Noble, they did have at least one Astral Radiance ETB, Vivid Voltage ETB, a bunch of blisters, the new Pokeball tins. They did have quite a bit of stuff, but nothing that I'm quite interested in right now. But let's go check out GameStop over here. GameStop had some uh, sleeved boosters for Astral Radiance. She saw the little lunchbox tin and another Cleavor box. Uh, I don't think we need another one of those, so let's head on to the next store. Now, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So, I invite you to come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. All right, we appear to be fully stocked. Got the three packs, the regular sleeve boosters, all the ETBs, got those things, Cleavor, V-Star boxes, Shining Fates. We even have the new and the older Evolution tins. All right, well, it looks like we actually hit the restock at Target. They had quite a bit of stuff. Um, a lot of the newer products, including some Astral Radiance ETBs and everything. Again, Guys, I'm kind of skipping Astral Radiance overall. You know, I'm opening just a little bit, but I don't really intend to buy really much more Astral Radiance product at this time. Um, but uh, we're gonna keep looking, see if we can find anything at, uh, we're gonna hit up uh, Walgreens next and then another Walmart. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find something that I actually would like to open today. Some of those things include Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, um, I don't know what else if we happen to find celebrations we'll open up more of that but we'll just see um now might be kind of one of the more dry times as far as uh pokemon goes which is okay because i feel like i'm still catching up in some ways on some of the other sets and uh i am looking forward to the pokemon go set so i probably should save up some money for that anyway so but anyways let's keep the hunt going again we're checking out walgreens next and interesting, we got a random Brilliant Stars sleeve booster here. We also do have a dedicated section here with a few things, just the portfolios and this random power pack. I don't think that that's worth it. All right, so I think this will be our last stop, but let's see if we hit the restock at Walmart. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Very nice, we got some Shining Fates ETBs, Vivid Voltage. How nice, they got the new MetaZoo boxes. Definitely a solid restock in the front. Let's check in the back real quick. 
And I got some decent stuff as well. All right, well, I've definitely been itching to open up some more Evolving Skies. So we had some pretty good luck with these, so get a few of those. And we actually found the new MetaZoo box. Nice, very interesting. I saw this on Discord, but it looks like they accidentally printed it backwards. Or was it an accident? Did they just do this to create some more rare products? Who knows? All right, Legends. Well, honestly, I kind of thought we were going to come away empty-handed from this hunt, but we hit some last store magic. Like I said, I was told you I was looking for some evolving skies, and these uh, little boxes are pretty cool. I like them. And we actually found the new MetaZoo product, so we'll probably open that in a separate video. All right, guys, let's go back and open up some evolving skies. Shoo. All right, Legends, well, thank you so much for joining us on the hunt. It was a pretty good one today. Hit those restocks, which is great. And I did find my Evolving Sky, so we're going to open that up today. And we also have some mail to open up as well. So let's do this. Why don't we start off with some mail first? We actually have some mail here from Whatnot, which is the app featuring live stream auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some great deals. Make sure you use my link in the description below and you'll get a $10 credit towards your purchase on whatnot. So let's find out what we have in this lot right here. Okay, so some different products here, which I'm trying to see if we can see what we paid for each of them. All right, so $7 and $14. Okay, and it actually is labeled. So first of all, we have base set Polyrath. One that I need for my base set master set. We are so close, guys. We just need just a few more cards. Oh man, I'm super excited about this. Let's pull it out. Uh, looks like we paid seven bucks for it. And depending on the condition of it, that is probably a steal. Let's see here. Oh man, I love this card. This is just such an underrated card. Just uh, some cool blues in there. It's very minimal, just the way the the blues interact with the blues on it as far as the back goes yeah a little bit of whitening there at the bottom pretty negligible I would say LP plus maybe so yeah I feel like we did pretty well I'm very happy with that the front looks really good though hardly any scratching that I can see on the front definitely stick that back in our top loader all right and we do have another one here, which it looks like we paid $14 for, and it is Kabutops, or Kabutops, however you like to pronounce it, from Fossil, Fossil. All right, very nice. That is a very clean hollow overall. Just some light scuffing on there. Minimal silvering, and the back looking pretty clean overall again some whitening nothing crazy again probably also lp plus eh, maybe lp for this one which is fine all right we'll stick that in a top loader which we have handy right here all right stick those guys up there well now let's get into our evolving skies boxes and guys we pulled our very first Evolution alt art from one of these boxes, so I knew I had to get another one of these. I hope we have some similar luck because this set is pretty incredible for the potential that you have, but it also can be pretty unforgiving when it comes to pool rates. So, all right, let's get into this. Let's start with this Umbreon pack here. There's your code card. Yikes. Dang it. Okay, that was not the best uh, little card trick. Looks like I may have done something to the last card there. Begone. Love Disc. C Dot. What a slack off. What a cutie fly. And Stalin. Alright, so it didn't matter. I gotta be more careful. I feel like I nicked it when I was doing the card trick. Alright, need to cool things down a little bit because. If we pull something good from this set, we want to take good, good care of it. Still also trying to get that Dragonite as well. That would be amazing. I've been dreaming of that card. Let's try and pull one. 
Here we go with the dark side. Speaking of the dark side, you guys have been watching the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. It's pretty legit. I'm a really big Star Wars fan. It's pretty close. I may be even, an even bigger Star Wars fan than I am a Pokemon fan, if that is, if you can believe that. All right, we got Volcarona V. I've pulled this card so many times. What is the deal? Stick a sleeve on him regardless though. All right. Come on with the Rayquaza pack. Let's get some fire from this pack. It's upside down. Here we go with the leaf, Hypno, Vigoroth, Golduck, What a Cutie Fly, Pika, Applin, Amolga, Tentacool, Reverse Flaffy, and a Lilligant. All right, nothing crazy from that first box. We still got two more boxes to go, six more packs to go. Let's get into this. I do really like this product. It's kind of about the same price as if we had gotten like a three pack blister. Obviously no promo card, but it's, you know, I can do without the promo card. It's the packs that we want for sure. All right, there's your code. Oh, we got this upside down somehow. All right, another leaf. Swoobat, Lombre, Ice Pop, Lotad, Sable Eye, Teddy Ursa, Marit the Sheep, Zerua, Scraggy, and a Aroma Lady. Nice, not bad. We'll take that. Nice. All right. I'm not a big um, full art trainer collector, as I've mentioned, but hey, somebody will want this. I've been doing a lot of selling on Twitter, which has been kind of fun. I didn't realize that there's such a vibrant community on Twitter for Pokemon. So that's been fun. Go follow me on there at Legend of Luke YT for YouTube. And uh, yeah, let's uh, continue the discussion over there. And if I uh, have anything you want to purchase, feel free. All right, so one, two, three, four. We got Electric Energy, Spirit Mask, Full Face Guard, Rescue Carrier, Petalil, Dano, Tidiursa, Phoebus, Nickit, Dramper Reverse, and Lycanroc VMAX. Okay, so that was a two hit box, technically. I'm not even gonna bother putting a sleeve on that one. Okay. Well, if those are the only two hits, then it is what it is. One of those was decent. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull three from one pack or one box, I should say. That would be nice. Starting with the fighting energy. Switching cups. Elemental badge. Single strike. Scroll of the Fang Dragon. Mareep. Cryogonal. Simba. What a cutie fly. Hitmonchan. I love this artwork, but man, look at that centering. That's rough. Teddy Ursa reverse. And. Okay, another Lilligant. Not bad, not bad. All right, we still do got one more. We'll get to that in just a moment. But we actually have another piece of mail that I am dying to open up. So this came, and it does appear to be Pokemon cards. I really have no idea who this person is. B. Harris. If that's you, comment below. I mean, I knew uh, a Brian Harris who's in my youth group as a kid. So I did just kind of open it up just to see if it was actually a Pokemon card item. Like I said, I have been doing some trading and buying on Twitter. So maybe it's from one of those, but I don't know. Because I it came with this little, oh nice, a uh, Shadowless Farfetch'd. 
and a bunch of old looking uh, binder sleeves or whatever you call them. So that's very interesting. I literally have no idea who this is from or what this is. It kind of almost appears that this is somebody's collection, this old collection. So yeah, I, that's as far as I got, but I don't know what in the world is in this right here. I am pretty excited about this because I don't know what this could be. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here, a lot of cards. Oh shoot, look at all these cards. Who in the world sent this? I need to check to see if there was a note. Yeah, I don't see a note in there. Oh man, guys, this these look like some old Pokemon cards. All right, well, let's go through these. I have no idea what to expect here, but I'm pretty excited. Literally like those, those uh, binder pages, sleeves, they look very well used. Like they look like they're probably from the 90s. They look like they have gathered quite a bit of dust. So anyway, here we go. We have Dratini. Very nice. Love this card. A base set Dratini. Beautiful card. Drowsy. Nice. I have a few of these, but these are awesome. Magnemite. Ooh, and that one is Shadowless. All right. Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to go after a Shadowless Master Set once I'm done with regular base set. And we got Poliwag in there. Very, very awesome. I will definitely take some vintage cards any day. I get the feeling that this is someone's childhood collection, guys. I just don't know what this is, uh, or who this is from, I should say. All right, we got Coughing. Again, just love these artworks. And let's see, Coughing. This is a is this a base set artwork or is this a misprint without the symbol? Uh, it must be base set. All right, sorry, I skipped one there. Nice, we got Starmie. Oh, I needed this. I needed a shadow or a shadowed Starmie, I should say. I actually have the shadowless one. Okay, that was the only thing. Maybe I feel like I did purchase this from someone. I needed the um, the shadowed one. Did, is this the person I purchased cards from on Twitter? I have no idea. Onyx, Rhyhorn, Dugong, very nice. Tangela, ooh, a shadowless Tangela. All right, all right. Oh, Eevee, I love this card. It's a great one, the OG Eevee. All right, we got Magikarp and Almanite from Fossil. Love this, I love these cards. All right, we still got one little more little stack here. Let's see what is in here. If this is you who sent this, please let me know because I want to thank you personally. We have in this last stack another Venonat. I have so many Venonats. Some of you may have seen a, uh, a whatnot purchase I made a while back where I just got all these duplicates of Venonat and a bunch of other jungle Pokemon. Diglett, Jigglypuff, another cool one. I love like the music notes in the background. Ponyta, oh, a shadowless Ponyta. That is beautiful. I don't know what it is, guys, but these, the shadowless just hits different. I wonder what condition these are in. Ooh, wow, that's a really clean shadowless card. Gloom, Jungle. The uh, very old 90s CG artwork there. But I appreciate it. Nidoran. Nidoran again. Vulpix. Sandshrew. Pidgey from base set. And that is our last card of this lot. Oh man. That's so exciting. Thank you so much for, to whoever sent these. I love these artworks. I don't get tired of looking at them. And I'm super stoked for those shadowless ones especially. So this was a treat. 
thank you so much. You guys are the best. But let's get into our last and final Evolving Skies box. Which I'm feeling nervous. I want so bad to pull an alt art today, guys. Can we do it? Let's do it. All right. The Duraludon artwork here. Duraludon, I should say. All right. Be very careful with all this. First of all, we got you a code card. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Very gentle. All right. You just never know what it could be. All right. Metal Gear Solid ribbon badge. Zwellius. Zinnia's Resolve. Swablu. Zerua. Cryogonal. Petalil. Drowsy. Flabebe. And an Altaria. Okay. Not yet. Don't let us down. Rakuza. Rayquaza. Quaza, we have this code for you. With the water energy, Scrafty, looking crafty. Snowleaf Badge, Breviary, Tentacool, Hoppip, Bagon, Wobbuffet, Bobbuffet, Bobbuffet, Simba, Tentacruel, and Noivern V. Okay. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. All right, guys. This is it. The moment of truth. Let's find out and get, we got some last pack magic today. By the way, depending on when you see this, I did see that there were some more Evolving Skies uh, sleeved boosters on the Pokemon Center website again. So, yeah, go get some of those if you want to open more of this. I personally did get some more, so we'll be opening more of this very soon. Boost Shake, Ribumbi, Avalug, what a dweeb. I want to rug and roll it all night. Wobbuffet, Hopip, Hopip, Hop, Hopip, Hopip, Reverse, Time Pole. And guys, to end off this video, we have wah, wah, wah. all right not too bad though we did get the aroma lady which is a secret rare so we'll be thankful for that of course we got many new vintage cards today but definitely stoked about these in particular if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings, check out one of these videos on screen next. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. And lastly, I want to remind you that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.